casa, casa não tem porta, não dá pra passar. E então, this is where they used to go up. And uh, this used to be the sea here. And the beach was here, it was really beautiful. And we, as boys, we used to run around here. And, uh, you know, the beach was like that. And then, uh, and the boats would come in. And then as the boats come in, all the boys, all of us would run, 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 and then go see. Because when they open up the planks, we would like to see what fishes, all sorts of colors, you know, the fish there. So, this is the church here. It's a Catholic community, the Eurasian community. And people speak Christian, you know. It's a local language from uh, 15th century Portuguese that they use. So the church bell will ring during Friday Mass, Saturday Mass, and then everybody will come out here all dressed up for the say. So they used to stay there and used to see all this. This is where they grew up, this place. And you know, at the window of the church, there were two steel bars. And uh, we used to, kids, we used to swing, go in and come out there. They said, get stuck. <laughs> they call uncle to pull us out, we get stuck there. So here we'll do the, we'll draw lines and play Antugala. And then, uh, you know that game, the Antugala, right? You do? So we'll play here, all the kids, we draw lines here. And also the, the hopscotch, Ting Ting. We call it Ting Ting, we used to play here also. Eh? And uh, I remember the aunties, uh, during festivities, they were, they, they, were, they were stand here outside the church with all with uh, buns, hot cross buns, and all the kids will line up. They'll give us hot cross buns. During uh, sugar cane festival, they give us sugar cane. Uh, so it was really fun for the kids. Sometimes we wait, wait, wait. We try to get, uh, hopefully, until you give buns. Sometimes you get, sometimes you do. So look at that. That was daddy's house before. Not nothing less than it. There was another house there also. All the houses here all clear pretty. Quite sad, I must say. Yeah, quite sad, right? It's just memories now. And then uh, this is the uh, Sunday shop we call uh, a provision shop. It was a provision shop because during the British time, they, uh, these were the places where we get ration. So we call it provision shop, sometimes Sunday shop. And uh, the uncle and aunties, they will buy fish here, they will buy vegetables here, and then, uh, but they didn't have a lot of money. So they, there was a book called Nuku Pigalima, and on the book, they will write with a pen uh, how much, uh, like you buy something, uh, how much you owe the shop. You don't really pay. End of the month, when the uncles get some salary, then they'll pay maybe half of it and it's supposed on uh, the shop, this is the English shop, the provision shop. Contains hot underscore again. Get it here a bit. But the access. On. See this house? So they tell you when Daddy was a little boy that they used to watch the, not all the houses, but so there was a Dania factory green they used to allow a Gaddy and Daddy used to go in and watch the UK. Next to that is uh Kole. Kole's house, we call Kole house because it was a there's a family staying here. There's a lane here and at the back is the sea. So Daddy and Kaidi used to go behind there, read comics by the sea, you know. Bino, Dandy, uh, war comics, and uh, sometimes you swim at the back there. Uh, Gaddy almost drowned at the back there, I remember. Over here is the Kampung Tengah. Daddy used to stay in a house after the church. So Daddy moved to just behind Kole's house. There was a house there. And then uh, this is the entrance. There was a big kampong here, Eurasian kampong, mixed actually, but mostly Eurasian from Mopti. And you know, we could hear in the afternoons in the kampong, there's a lot of music. You can hear people playing saxophone, guitar in the evening. Sometimes bands will be practicing inside here. So that was the entrance here. So they, there was a Jabu Ae tree here, and they used to stay there. So this is where they did grow up, in front of the church, then over here, and then later on, another house beside Uncle Martins. And uh, so the kampong is no more there. We all get nothing, not a single house there. It's quite an interesting place. Uh, quite interesting, colourful, and uh, a lot of life. It's uh, a lot of good memories for the going up here. It we really wasn't boring. No, I'm growing around the kampong. Yeah, so this is uh, this is where the ring works. Mm -hmm. Prayer Lane. 
But for the younger generation, I just like to say this. I give a lot of weight to the older generation here in Malaysia. We grew up in a different time and uh, take their advice. Uh, come out, mix, be together. Don't be afraid of each other. And uh, we are all under the, under the Malaysian sun, all of us. So we all live under the Malaysian sun. We are, we are one here. So that's the advice I, I would like to give to the younger generation. You, you remember I told you about uh, about uh, the Tengbai? Yeah. <laughs> Last time the whole kampung here, the, the toilets were Tengbai, where it wasn't flush, it was just a bucket. With a, and everything goes in a bucket and somebody will collect it. Yeah? So, Around 1975, the Malacca Council said we got to stop all this because it's unhygienic. And then uh, they said all the toilets have been changed to the flush system. So Daddy, when he was from three, Daddy used to work in the, during school holidays, uh, changing all these toilets, break, destroying these kind of toilets, and digging holes and making the flush system. You know, so this was how it looks like last time. You see the 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 tong there. And uh, it's usually made very simple material here. Oh, somebody's in there. Who is in there? Somebody's in there. <laughs> Somebody is in there. Oh, Larry! <laughs> uh, last master, time 62. 